Hey friends, welcome back into my life. So today I am going to be doing the one month are we in? What we got for the month of September or what I got because I know that sometimes things vary, we get different things. Sometimes. So this theme is wildflower. That's pretty. We got five items. I already have my makeup or I've had my makeup done and I just matted everything. I put translucent powder so I could try everything for you guys. There's not much for the face, but so we could try it out, you know? So the first things first, I know I have blush already, but I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, try this either way. So this is the Laura Guilherme Blush and Brighten in Tropic Hue. It's a pretty corally color. Oh, that's very pigmented. There's a lot of shimmer in there. It says, stunning swirls of liquid pigments are baked in Italy for 24 hours on terracotta tile this one retails for 28 bucks kind of gives like a glowy look it's a glowy blush okay i applied a lot so you could see what it looked like but oh my gosh i need a tony but it's a very pretty color i like it i feel like i always do a heavy hand <laughs> on my blush and i shouldn't you know at least now i know that i don't have to uh, like dig into this one a lot a little goes a long way the next thing we got in the box are these three alamar brushes ever since we got the alamar palette i was really hoping we would get these but we didn't they're really soft and it just says alamar i love the color it's so tropical and these little guys retail for 18 bucks and the next one we got is a pretty vulgar nightingale eyeshadow palette very pretty and the inside has a very nice sized mirror and it's like a little bird's cage these colors i mean they're nice and everything but i don't normally there's not a lot of variety in colors but i could see this will provide so many looks that i don't know how to do but that i'm gonna try you know i don't know what look i'm gonna do because i'm not even good at you know applying shadow let's just go ahead and try i already have mascara either way i do have concealer in my eyes so i'm just gonna powder everything and set it i'm gonna grab my brushes i'm just gonna try to use as many colors as i can without lopping the look so the first shade i i picked at it that's honestly how I welcome all of my palettes i just pick right through them please be patient with me if the look doesn't come out pretty because I'm still trying and these colors are not the easiest. I feel like I brought the color kind of high up here. Back in like 2009 when I was learning how to do my eyeshadow, I would use really dark colors like these and just diffuse them at the top. It's giving me junior year vibes. Oh boy. Patience. It looks horrible, but just be patient with me. Oh my god, it looks like someone punched me. This would be such a pretty smoked out look if I knew how to smoke out, but I don't. The color kind of diffuses as you blend it, which I don't mind really because I'd rather it do that and then if I need to intensify, I'll just go back in there and apply a little bit more. We're learning here, we're learning. Whatever, I'm just, whatever. We're just gonna apply the a little bit. Uh, we got fallout. Okay, we're trying to do a halo look, but we don't know how, so we're learning. So we're both learning, it's not just me. Like, you guys are learning too. So, if I mess up, that means that you're messing up too. Just kidding. Looks decently diffused compared to this I look. I'm doing like a little opposite Pac-Man symbol right there. So it has 12 shades. I use 6 out of the 12. So it's not too bad. We, we, we did what we could, you know? The next thing is the Butter London Stroke of Wow Roll-On Eyeliner. This one retails for $19. Creates precise, ultra-fine winged liner. It says it gives you insane control. Ay, ay, ay. I don't like it. I don't like liners. Literally like a little pizza cutter. I like that. When you know how to do your liner. Wow. 
Whoa, that doesn't even look bad. Something happened, let's try again. Okay, so that was the wheel. That was so interesting and it felt good. I felt like I was massaging my eyes. Last but very not least, oh my hair. Lorac Pro Matte Lip Color. There's three colors that they could have given us. There's like a purpley color, a coral peach pink color, and then a brownish color. And I think I got the purple one, of course. They need to not give me purples. They should give me like browns, nudes. I'm gonna apply it. So we just pop this open and we roll it out okay so it has a good amount it has the color at the bottom so you can kind of get an idea feels very creamy on the lips color doesn't match the rest of my eyes there you have it this is a look that you and i created okay so this month i really liked all the products the one and uh, this color i didn't really love but i'm sure if i mix it with the pink with the brown or even like a nude color, I am, I'm gonna like it. So I just have to play with it because formulation feels amazing on the lips. It's very moisturizing. The blush was very nice. I really liked how it gave me like a little glow on the cheeks. If I was able to, I would depot it. I don't think you're able to. It's just a tad bulky, you know, at home, we could use it at home. The eyeshadow palette, um, you know, in the beginning, I was kind of upset that they sent this, which has very like hard to work with colors. But now that I actually did the look, I'm happy because I need to learn and I feel like if they're always giving us like oranges and browns and neutrals and lights then I'm just gonna be you know comfortable with those colors and I need to step out of my comfort zone and so do you if you're like me you know like we need to get out of our shell and try different things because I feel like that's what BoxyCharm is about so I'm gonna keep on playing with this these shadows were not hard to blend I have an issue with blending blues I don't know how like I just don't know how I don't know why I tried to like recreate another blue look but I mean I'm kind of digging it it's not as blended as it should be I'm learning and I'm trying and that's what this channel is all about for us to learn together you know these I really enjoyed this brush I think this was like my favorite one because it deposited the color I don't know if it was the brush or the actual eyeshadow but it deposited the color so nicely a lot of times I feel like I have to go in with my finger it's not as precise so this one did an amazing job this one originally I didn't like it but I actually do like it now I really really like it because I don't really like using these sort of bristles rather than synthetic as I was applying it right above and on my crease it diffused the color amazingly this one i mean i really liked it but it's it's similar to this other one that i have i just want to say how much i love the color like this is so beautiful it's so tropical Ugh, i love it we added those to the collection this little guy i really liked it look at how nice my wing looks on this eye this one i kind of messed up you know look at how nice it rolls it said on there that it gives you full control and yes it does give you control if you do your eyes first and if you mess up your eyeliner like i always do you're able to go back in and like fix it okay this color is way too intense for me the color probably i would have done a different color even though i added a nude-ish color on top but it doesn't match what we're doing here there was a few things that i liked a little bit more than others like this little guy that little guy was amazing and the brush but yes that completes this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something with me because i learned throughout the whole video please subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye Next thing we got in the palette is the Alamar palette and pigmented is free. Hey, I took off the manual. I don't know how to fix it here. Oh, Karen. Oh, where you go? Miss you so much. You've been gone. Oh, here it is. Rather than having a dark color and being like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with it? Oh, I rolled it the wrong way. That's not the way.